I had taken a nap sort of during the day, so I was kind of not that tired. So I have been trying to watch this movie called Point Blank with Lee Marvin, which is one of these sort of like Tarantino faves. So I watched that. I'd, I'd started that and I finished that. And I was kind of fading when Point Blank was ending. And I was like, man, there's no way I'm going to be able to watch another movie, but I still want to try. So I put on uh, Boiler Room, which is a movie from, I believe, I think it's post 9 11 because there's a shot of the skyline and there's no Twin Towers. Yeah, it's this movie, it's basically like Wolf of Wall Street, but told from the perspective of an employee rather than the, the boss. And it has like a very like broad out cast as Giovanni Ribisi, it has uh, Ben Affleck, has Vin Diesel, it has this actor, uh, Nikki Cat. It has this dude, Jamie Harrison. He's like the dude in Scream who's like, plays the, the sort of like meta character who's always talking about the rules of horror movies. I was thinking about the Bechdel test while I was watching it. I was like, man, this is definitely gonna be a Bechdel test fail. Cause literally there's two female characters. One is the Giovanni Ribisi character's love interest. The other is his mother which is really funny. Here's the Bechdel test. If a movie has more than one woman character, they have a conversation with one another, and the conversation is not to do with something to do with a man. It's just like, they're just talking about life. If a movie has those three things going, it passes the Bechdel test. If it doesn't, it fails. It's very common for movies to fail the Bechdel test, but some of them like fail it so flagrantly that it kinda, it's, it's, just, it's, it's just an interesting, like heuristic or whatever. Cause I had, I, had, I had not had my feminist awakening when I watched Boiler Room as a teen. Yeah, I was just like keen on looking back on this movie from my youth as like a total fucking flop of the Bechdel test. And <laughs> interestingly enough, it did not fail the Bechdel test, which was a shock to me. The movie has a lot of scenes that cut away from the Giovanni Ribisi character's narrative and sh sort of just show the subjectivity of other people. These FBI agents who were investigating this firm, some of the people he sold these bogus stocks to, etc. And there's this moment where it just cuts to his love interest like coming home. And, and she says like, I'm home, mom. And then her mom's like, baby, can you get me some water or something? She's like, yeah, mom, just a second. And then she like goes to the kitchen and get water and that's it. But like that is a scene about how the mom wants water. Boiler room passes the Bechtel test with an A plus.